Hi everyone and welcome to Nettle. And in this short video from the Excel 101 series, we will learn how to apply some simple date-related functions in Excel. So here we have got three dates, 13th of January 2022, 16th of November 2011, and 4th of May 2005. How to work with dates in Excel and extract some relevant information from these? Well, there is the year function that, when applied to a date, extracts the year. Then there is the month function that, when applied to a date-related cell, retrieves the month. 1 to 12. 1 is January and 12th of December, quite naturally. And then there is the day function that retrieves the day of the month, so the 13th, as of our first date. More interestingly, there is also the weekday function that uh, retrieves the day of the week number. But here is an important caveat. If we just apply it uh, by default, we will get the US convention when the uh, week starts on a Sunday and ends on a Saturday. So Sunday is day one and Saturday is day seven. For more uh, intuitive work with weekdays, we can specify the return type. And here, the most um, natural convention, at least for European uh, users, would be two, which is uh, one to seven, Monday through Sunday. And that uh, gives us uh, the expected result that the 13th of January 2022 is day four. It's a Thursday. But what is even uh, more useful is that knowing the year, the month, and the day, we can reconstruct back the date in the Excel format, which is simply the date function, and we need to input the year, then the month, then the day, and we'll get back our date of interest. And what is perhaps the most useful property of date uh, data format in Excel is that actually this is simply a number. If we convert this into a number, we would have 44,574. This is because Excel treats uh, dates as integers and uh, it treats uh, any uh, fractional amount as time within the date, starting from um, as time zero, uh, 1st of January 1901, actually. But that means that if we want to calculate what the date would be, for example, a thousand days ahead, we can just add a thousand to our date and see that 1000 days ahead of 13th of January 2022 will be uh, on the 9th of October 2024. Quite handy indeed. And again, this is a very general property of all Excel functions. We can simply select the range and drag it down to reapply all of these functions to all three of our dates, verifying that, well, both of our uh, dates two and three are Wednesdays and reapplying all of the relevant functions here. And we can compare these dates to the ones we have manually reconstructed to double check that we have done indeed everything correctly. And that is how to work with dates in Excel. Please leave a like on this video if you found it helpful and stay tuned for even more easy and inspiring Excel tutorials in the Excel 101 series.